So today I'm going to show you how to um, put on a hair topper. I'm going to be using the upgraded um, Courtney hair topper from Uniwigs. Um, this is human hair, real hair. It's actually um, Burmese hair, so naturally um, curly and wavy. Um, I've just washed her, so she's really super soft. Um, it's a really lovely piece to, to wear and to work with, really easy. Um, feels natural and feels great. Um, so I'm going to show you how to put her on. So my parting is naturally um, on the side there, but the uh, the hair topper's parting is central. So all I do is just change my parting. And the other thing that I do uh, suffer with or experience is um, I've got greys at the front there. Um, with uh with my roots coming through so all i use is a little bit of this root retoucher um this is really really good um i use it quite a lot for if i have my hair tied back um i use it to just blend my hairline a bit more um and if if i have got bald spots showing um with my hair up then i just um spray that and blend that but this is this is quite good for just covering those um those little greys now the only thing i would say is um when you spray this on it does splatter um so i always put it on before doing my makeup but for today i'm only going to use it for a little bit so all i'm going to do you've got to shake it really really well and then just spray a little bit on on a uh, kitchen towel or, or cloth and then all i'm going to do is just try and cover those greys up now my hair um, here at the front is is quite fine um, with with my hair loss, so I find the clips on the hair topper on this side it it does take a while um, to sort of for them to grip on. So there's a couple of things that I do. One is I can just back comb it a little bit, just so it has got a little bit of more grip on my bio hair, um, or you can just get a little bit of hairspray. And, um, and spray it on before you before you put the topper on. This is the inside of the topper, so you can see there's lace at the front there, and it's got two clips at the front and two at the back. Make sure that they're open before you put it on, so that's open and that's closed. And then all I do is I hold it like this, and I swing it round like that. I like to have my um, topper quite close to my hairline, I don't like it back here just because I feel like it's a bit too obvious. So I like to have mine like that. And you just clip in the front ones. Make sure you do that first. And then you clip the back ones like that. And then all you do is just blend in your bio hair into the hair topper like that. I like to have my um, top is quite tight. Um, I just feel like it's more secure, especially living in England where we have lots of wind and rain. Um, just It's just something that I prefer, but obviously by th with having it quite tight, it can pull on your, on your bio hair. So a lot of people prefer to have it a bit looser, but f for me, I feel more confident if it's, if it's tight, it feels secure. So just brush that through. And then if you need to, you can get your your hair straighteners and and just curl a little bit at the front with your bio hair get a couple of curls there like that but there you have it so underneath that's my my bio hair you can see their color and then that's the topper so it's a really really good match it feels great feels nice and and thick um, gives me lots and lots of confidence. You can see on the top there, no bald spot. Um, and what's great about this is you can you can tie it up. So I have done for work before, just get a clip um, and get a few little bits down there. Um, and again, just clip it up if you want it up. But that's it. Um, last year in November, 
um, my hairdresser noticed a couple of um, small bald spots on the top of my head, um, really, really tiny. Um, she recommended a, a hair loss shampoo and back then we both assumed that it was maybe hormonal um, because I was 39 um, or possibly stress. So I tried a, uh, a hair loss shampoo and unfortunately had a really, really bad reaction um, to that. Uh, I was noticing over time that my, my bald spot was getting larger and uh, that's when I decided to go and see a um, trigologist um, who said that uh, she felt it was something called lichen planopolaris um, or LP for short and uh, it's an autoimmune condition uh, quite rare um, and there's basically not a lot uh, known about it unfortunately. Um, basically the the hair loss that, that I've experienced um, is permanent, it won't grow back um, and the, the autoimmune condition uh, kills the hair follicles which means it leaves a scar and therefore causes scarring alopecia. Um, so a couple of things ab about it, um, like I said, they, they don't know a lot about um, lichen planopolaris. Um, it does affect women more than men. Um, and rather strangely, it seems to only really affect the, the top of the head, not the sides. Um, I have uh, most of my hair loss on, on the top, um, but I am noticing it coming down the sides a little bit more. And um, I have got one small board spot just at the back of my head there. Um, I am noticing as well that my hairline um, is receding and I've noticed that I am getting um, a lot thinner hair on the side. Um, but the, the majority of my hair loss is, is on top. So I really, really hope that you've found my, my video helpful. Um, I'm quite new to hair toppers. Um, I've found them an absolute game changer. Um, I used to hate doing my hair um, because it is quite sort of frizzy, um, but actually with a hair topper, it's so quick and easy um, and it doesn't take me any time at all now to, to do my hair. Um, I'm still learning about hair loss and hair toppers um and what to do and what not to do and it's been a, a great journey i've met so many amazing people and um and yeah just one step at a time